Um, how does someone know if they're when they're praying? Are they praying from their spirit or is it soul prayers? <laughs> well, I'm going to keep that easy so I can save 20 minutes. All right. Um, just pray in tongues and turn your mind off. And in about 10 years, you'll be able to answer that question. <laughs> Because that's what happened. I prayed myself out of my mind, and then I could tell when it was my soul and when it was my spirit. And um, of course, you know, it's not, it, we're very complicated. So even the best person can feel something and it, not, it be their soul, but they think it's the spirit saying it. It's, it's very, it's very, uh, or very complicated. So you have to feed your spirit more than you feed your soul. So that's why, uh, like what, what we do is we, we spend a lot of time praying and a lot of time studying. But then what we'll do is we'll do something fun and disengage. We call it disengaging. So we'll sit and we'll, we'll uh, choose something to watch. And I'll go and, and then I'll go watch one of my training videos for, for my, next, my next rating in the jet or whatever. And I, I just saturate myself for that for like 30 minutes and then we go back in and we, we just do, you know, we can do it again. So we, we have to give, the soul is a big baby and it, it, screams, it screams for attention. So it, it, it's like it needs input. Okay. The th so the test, the, the test that I had to go through was not learning how to live down here after I came back from heaven. The test was l learning how to deny my soul what it thinks is its right. It doesn't have any rights. You know, my, I don't, my will doesn't have any rights. I've been bought, so listen, I've been purchased, so it's really, I, I don't have any title deed to myself anymore. Mm -hmm. Jesus purchased that title deed, so he, he owns the property. Yeah. So my body's not my own, and my life is not my own, and I really don't have, I really don't have a say-so. But you do, if you want to be in rebellion, you have a say-so. And he will actually grant you your request, which is what bothers me more than not getting an answer to prayer is when he does grant people to go their own way. That to me is probably the scariest thing yeah. is that Samson, he woke up. The scariest verse in the Bible is when Samson woke up and he did not know that the spirit of God had left him. It's the scariest verse in the Bible because deception is one thing, but not knowing that you're deceived, yeah. not knowing that the Holy Spirit left you. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. The, uh, the soul needs to be denied. And the reason why it needs to be denied is, is that it's supposed to serve your spirit. It's supposed to add to the experience of, of your spirit. So when you have a, an experience from your spirit and God speaks to you, the chemicals are supposed to go into your body and wrap you up like you feel loved. When God speaks to you, you're supposed to feel love and acceptance it's a feel-good thing. That's what the soul's for. It, it's, it's, it's a biological thing and a chemical thing as well as feelings and thoughts. Okay, it's supposed to add to the experience of your spirit. So if your soul is wrong and you're praying in the spirit, but your soul is wrong... I pray in the spirit and I'm having, I'm, I'm actually coming up against a, a high demonic spirit when I'm praying, a high demonic spirit when I'm praying and I feel terrible. I start to have feelings and my body starts to feel like, and I feel like I need to back off, like I've done something wrong. And I used to feel that way all the time when I'd pray in tongues and I would get into this vein. Um, there were times where I would not feel anything all of a sudden and my, I, would, I would feel like a, what a, what's going on? And the Lord showed me, you just encounter, you just had a, uh, you just had a nose to nose encounter mm. with, with Goliath, wow. that, 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 that rolling spirit. Yeah. He came to, to suck the life out of you and, and your prayers. So and it affects my soul. And it, I, I've learned to just stay in there and say, oh, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Nice try, you know, and I, I just keep praying and praying. And then we hit a, what we call a gusher. It's like drilling down and then all of a sudden you hit oil. <laughs> it, and then, then the overflow comes. But we've noticed that there's this place where the, the, I think the demonic spirits know 
that you're just about ready to break through and they're about to be overthrown. So they throw some kind of blanket on you or something. It feels like a, a wet, cold blanket. Yeah. And your soul can deceive you into feeling like you've done something wrong. This has happened. Do you, do you know, like when I, every time that I, I'm spoken to to give something and it's something like I've done, I've bought things for myself that I needed, uh, you know, big things that I need for the house or whatever. And the Lord said, oh, no, you're giving that to so-and-so. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and um, you, everything's fine until they come and they drive off with it. <laughs> and then you're thinking, <laughs> and, and the, the feeling is, what have I done, you know? Oh, no. And what I have done is obey God. <laughs> okay, but my soul is like, eh. <laughs> and all the, the, then, then um, your spirit and your soul are are opposing each other. You're, it's not your spirit opposing you because God spoke to you to do that. Yeah. It's your soul saying, "Oh, now you've done it. How are you going to pay your bills this month or whatever?" You know, yeah. all these things that people go through. So, um, the the soul is supposed to be serving your spirit and praying in the spirit. Jesus, Jesus in person, when, when I was with him, he said, he said that when you pray in tongues, you overthrow your soul. And it's a, like the, a wrestling move called a reversal. And so you reverse the position and you overthrow your soul and you pin it down and you make it. You make it, believe. you tell it what to feel. You tell it what to, you, what to say. You, you, you're in command of it. And the Lord said, it's overthrow. So that's the spiritual exercise of praying in the spirit and building up your spirit. And um, you have to tell your soul, shut up, be still. You know, like David did, said, why are you so downcast within, within me? Well, it's a real him talking to his soul. Soul, why are you downcast? He was talking to himself. So there was a part of him that was fine and wondering to you know, what's, hey, what's up with you? And it was, right? So it's okay to talk to yourself sometimes. Not out loud. Okay. <laughs> yeah.